It's been a while since I've purchased anything, since I've been traveling on the road for the last three months, and I've only really packed clothes that are suitable for outdoor, since I am mostly outdoors. Now that we are in Airbnbs and we're in a city, I have really, really missed my clothes. Like, really miss my clothes. Really miss dressing up, looking good. I've realized how important it is for me to look good, to feel good. I went on a little bit of an Aritzia spending spree and I have a haul for you guys today. I really like just ordering a bunch of stuff to try on. I can take my time at home, see if I like it, and then return whatever doesn't work out. So today I have some sweaters, some jackets, and some pants to show you, and we will try them on together and see how we feel about them. So this is the Wilfred Free Free Fleece Crew. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, I'm wearing a size small in black. I have been looking for a really good classic crew neck sweater for a while. I am really loving this piece over here. I think it's the perfect amount of oversized for me. Again, I'm petite, so you know, things that are purposely made oversized can sometimes make me look like I'm swimming in them. Like I mentioned, I'm wearing a size small, which is typically what I wear in Aritzia clothes. I just really love the fit. I like how it sits. It's also a really good weight. I think on the website, it says that it's mid-weight. I also have like the oversized cozy fleece sweater, which they also say is mid-weight. This one definitely feels lighter, but it still feels substantial. The cozy fleece is definitely like heavier, like overall the sweater feels a bit heavier. This one feels really light and really comfortable. Like most of the Aritzia sweaters, it is very, very cozy. Like I will say it feels so nice on my skin. Honestly, I think this is the perfect crew neck. I wish they came in a few more colors. Like I wish it came in navy. Um, I know that they come in some like muted colors, like a beige and a taupe or a mauve and that sort of thing. But I really just wanted like a complete basic black crew neck. And I think this one really fits the bill. I also really like the idea of just like throwing a crew neck over your shoulders. Um, I think it just really adds another kind of like dimension to your outfit. I'm wearing a tank top right now, but if I was wearing a long sleeve or even like a jacket, it just kind of adds a little something. And it's also practical because it's available to you if you do end up getting cold and if you need a sweater. Next, we have the TNA Polar Half Zip. Um, I will say I actually really like the fit of this. So I got this in two different shades because it was so hard for me to tell on the website what the difference was. All of the name could kind of suggest it. This one is called Whisper White. Um, it's a really nice cream. I'd say it's more of like a cool color. The other one I got is called Sand White, which obviously would imply that it is more of a sand color. It was just kind of hard for me to tell on the website which one I would like. I'd say one of the main differences is the zipper on the Whisper White one kind of just blends into the color of the rest of the fleece. Whereas the zipper on the sand, you can tell is a bit darker than the rest of the fleece. So it kind of sticks out a bit more, whereas this zipper kind of blends in. This is really cozy. It had really good reviews. People said that they used it um, as like a mid layer. I do really like this, but my purpose of doing this haul was to get some more like stylish pieces that I could wear out to dinner. I feel like this is kind of more in line with what the rest of my outdoor clothes look like. So I don't really know if it helps elevate my current wardrobe situation, which is what I'm trying to do since most of my like fashionable clothes are in Toronto. So I don't think I'm gonna keep this one, but it is a really good fit. It's a great sweater for petite because it's cropped. So it just fits a petite person properly. Like it looks like this is a good length sweater for me. It doesn't actually look like cropped on me, which I kind of personally like. So just to show you guys the difference in color, this one is the sand white, so you can see it is obviously more of a sandy color. Kind of just depends on what shade you're looking for and I guess what kind of goes with your skin tone. 
Um, I think I actually prefer the other one. I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I like warm tones better, but I kind of feel like these are both cool tones, just different shades. So not really sure. It is very cozy. Like honestly, the fleece feels super nice. Um, this is also a size small again, so true to size. I think if I were to get this, I would get something a little more fun. I did see that they had this sweater in like different prints. Um, and I think that would be really cute for like a ski outfit, that sort of thing. I'd say if you're looking for some sort of mid layer, this is probably a pretty good one. Like honestly, I kind of already feel like cozy and warm putting it on. So I think it definitely would keep you pretty warm. Like I, the longer I'm wearing it, the more warm I feel. So this definitely serves a really good practical purpose. And it's also really cute. Next, we have a couple of shirt jackets. So this one is the Babaton Pelly in the color Coffee Bean. It is an extra small for anything that is meant to be an oversized fit. Like it'll say in the description, that it's meant to be oversized, I always get an extra small and that has always fit me quite well. I think just being petite, um, going true to size is a bit too big for me. So even though I'm normally a size small, in any of these like shirt, jackets, shackets sort of thing, I typically always get an extra small. So you can see how big it is on me. I think this would be the right size. Um, I really liked this color brown on the model online, but it is definitely more of a cool tone brown and I look better in warm tones. So I just don't really feel like it's like doing a whole lot for me. If you have anything vegan leather from Aritzia, you know that their vegan leather is super soft and like easy to take care of. You just machine wash it. Don't need to do any special dry clean or anything, which is awesome. It's also pretty pricey. It's $168 Canadian and you know, it's really a shirt. Like it's not as much of a shacket. It's not going to keep you warm. It's not really like insulated. Um, like I don't think this would be enough going out in the fall in Canada. Like I'd probably have to wear like a vest underneath or something, which then kind of kills the style a bit. I've seen these type of vegan leather jackets like at Zara and other places for quite a bit cheaper, like a fraction of the cost. I really like button ups. Like I have a lot of button ups and I like having the option of rolling up the sleeves. Um, but because the lining of the fabric, well, I guess I could roll up like once. So the cuff here is brown, but like if I wanted to roll it up more, the lining of the fabric is black and that just doesn't really look that great. Um, so it's just not that versatile. So I think for the price, personally, it's just not really worth it for me. This is the Wilfred Adina jacket in cognac color. Uh, definitely more of a warm brown. I really like this jacket. However, when I was looking at this jacket online, I think because of the lighting in the photo, it looked a lot more patent. Like it looked a lot more shiny. Um, I really like the texture on it. Like you can see it has this kind of like crinkly texture, but it is in fact like a matte jacket. So if you order this, don't be surprised when it comes in the mail like I was that it is matte. I actually think if this was patent, I probably would keep it. It's like kind of like a statement jacket, even though the color is not anything wild, just like the texture of it. If it were patent, then it would be more of like a statement jacket. It's thicker than the shirt that I just had on. So it definitely is like a bit more of a jacket. I only have one blazer, so I'm not really a blazer person, but I kind of like the idea that this is like a blazer and a jacket at the same time. Is there a word for that? Like there's shirt jacket, shacket, blazer jacket, blacket? I don't, know. I don't know if that sounds right. You guys tell me what you think, but you know, I like that idea of like a blazer that is kind of like outerwear as well. This is like a really dope piece and I really like the texture of it. I just really wish it was patent. I think that would have made it a keeper for me. Again, this is an extra small and I like the way it fits. 
It is still oversized, but it's not overpowering on my petite frame. So moving on to bottoms, these are the Wilfred Free Brennan Pant, and they are like a thick cotton material. They're really comfortable. I'm wearing a size zero, which I'd say I kind of float between a zero and a two, depending on the style of the pant. I read that these kind of stretch out, so I got a zero. They do fit my waist pretty comfortably. Mind you, I have not eaten anything today yet, but they don't feel super tight. One of the most important things for me in clothes, having been outside for the past three months and been in outdoor clothes is that they have to be comfortable. And I will say these are very comfortable. You can like fully move around in them. Um, I can kind of already feel from the material that it probably will loosen up a bit even more, um, which kind of concerns me. Like, you know, I don't want it to get like saggy in the butt area. And considering it's not tight right now, that is a possibility. It has like some kind of patchwork uh, down the legs. They're kind of like cargo-y pants, which again, not really sure why I chose these because they have outdoor vibes and I already have <laughs> outdoor pants, but I actually really like them. I think I prefer my color rather than just black because I think in the colors you can see the detail of the pants more, which is what I think is really interesting about these. Like I like the patchwork on the front, the little loop, you know, the little side pocket here. I really like all of that and I feel like in the black color, it kind of gets lost and you don't really see it. I'd say if you are looking for a cargo pant, these ones are great, especially if you're petite. If you're looking for a pant that you don't have to hem, make sure you always look for the length to be ankle length. I am 5'1", so whenever I see something that says it's ankle length, it usually fits me as like full length really well, um, as you can see with these ones. And I think these ones look really great as like a full length pant, even though they're meant to be ankle length. These are the Sunday Best Easton pant in a size two. Um, they looked really fun with the whole split hem thing going on, but I think they remind me a bit too much of like my high school days. They fit pretty nicely on the butt, but there is a big gap in the waist here. And I know that if I went to like a size zero, the fit would just be kind of wacky overall. So a bit strange on the fit, like very loose on the waist, even though it feels like the right size through my legs. I think this would definitely be like a fun pant to have if you're into that kind of like 90s vibe. The jean is quite soft though. Like I like the way it feels. It's not hard and crunchy. In reality, I don't know how much I like the whole split hem thing going on. I went through a whole process of like purging a bunch of jeans that I felt meh about. So I'm really only going to keep jeans that are like absolutely amazing. And these are kind of just okay. So I actually did in a Goldie Jeans review video a little while back and I didn't try this style, but a lot of you guys recommended that I try it as a good one for petite. And I must say, I am loving these. Like, they fit like a glove. They fit so well, they make the butt look good, and they aren't overly tight at all. They're comfortable on the waist, like I still have some room here, and they're just a really good, like, you know, not quite like straight, not skinny, like somewhere kind of in between, because they definitely form to the shape of like my thighs and my body, which is why I wouldn't say they're like pure straight leg, but I think this like style is a really good staple jean to have. I love these. The only thing is I have the A Goldie 90s mid-rise in like a very, very similar shade. So like, I don't wanna have jeans that kind of look exactly the same. I mean, they're so similar, but so different because the fit is totally different, but I would prefer to have these in probably a non-ripped and in a maybe slightly darker shade. I feel like once you've tried a Goldie jeans, it's really hard to go back to any other brand because they just have such a soft feel to them. Like, I don't know if I've tried any other jeans that are 100% cotton that already have this kind of like lived in vintage feel. They're just so comfortable and I like the rise and how they don't pinch my waist. 
So I've ordered a few different shades that are not ripped in the same style. I've actually done a completely separate jeans haul. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so that you get notified when I put that video up. It's gonna have a lot of different styles in there from Levi's, Denim Forum, and a Goldie. I did not bring any jeans with me on this trip, so I am trying to find like that one pair it might be this one, but there will be a lot of different styles in there if you guys are just interested in seeing what those brands have to offer. So that is it for the Aritzia haul. Let me know if you guys like this style of video where I try it on and kind of give you like an off the cuff review in the moment. If you liked the video and found it helpful, give it a like. And if you guys have any other like die hard must need Aritzia pieces, let me know in the comments below because there's so many things online and it's often hard to figure out what might look good on you until you try it. Since most of us are ordering stuff online, it would just be really great to know what pieces you guys have already tried that you think are really good. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.